We embarked on a journey to create the toughest desktop shredder, and after many iterations, we finally settled on Shreddy 5, this 2 horsepower beast. Today, we'll stress test the machine, starting with thinner and simpler material. To no surprise, Shreddy consumed that cup with ease. Just look at these fine plastic shreds. So let's turn it up a notch and use terracotta. It sounds pretty cool. Shreddy had no problem with this plant pot and produced these really nice bits of terracotta. I'm not really sure what to do with them, but if you know how this could be useful, let me know in the comments. Moving on, let's shred these aluminum coke cans. Fun fact, about 75% of the world's beverage cans are made of aluminum not just because it's cheap, but also because it's infinitely recyclable. Next, let's try something thicker, like these gummy silicone molds that we made in a previous video. This one specifically is very satisfying to watch. Also, notice how every so often the blades automatically spin in reverse to clean themselves. This is super useful and simple to implement, so we'll explain that shortly. This is looking too easy for Shreddy, so let's ramp it up to some damaged electronics and PCBs, like this Arduino that won't power up anymore. That worked really well. This could also be applied to solid state drives if you have data that needs to be destroyed. For the last test, we want to try pure copper. I have these one-time use copper gaskets from an ultra high vacuum chamber that we're working on. Admittedly, I thought copper would stall this desktop shredder, so I'm quite impressed. These leftover copper bits are now small enough for me to use in our 3D printed DIY foundry. Make sure to check out that video, it's really cool. Now that we know what Shreddy is capable of, let's explore how to build it. But first, we'd like to thank Bix for sponsoring this video. As a bigger channel, companies reach out to us offering money in exchange for an ad. And this is a great way of making money. But unless you're already popular, it's hard to secure these sponsorships. We were recently invited to try out a new and totally free platform that benefits everyone, literally. As long as you have a YouTube or Instagram account, you can use Bix to make a passive income. At Bix.co, as a content creator, you can set up a profile, list your prices for a video, a post, whatever it is, and businesses will reach out to sponsor you. And as a small business, you can easily find influencers to collaborate with and promote your brand at any budget. We got to test Bix behind the scenes and we're super excited for the official launch later this year. If you're interested, join the waitlist at Bix.co to get notified as soon as it launches. And now, back to the video. The kit assembly is very simple. With all the parts laid out, we begin by inserting all the blades and spacers on the shafts in an alternating order. Once done, we set that aside and prepare the gearbox and motor assembly by mounting these plates with four screws. We then slide the assembled shaft into the gearbox, along with the two bearings to ensure smooth rotations of the shaft. Next, we slide the other assembled shaft into place. It's important that the blades align perfectly, so we take a moment to ensure this was properly done. We then insert the other steel plate. Note that one part is skinnier than the other. The thick part should go on the top. Then, we simply mount the side plates and pop on the top cover. Next, we install the bottom plate. Note that once again, there's a thinner and thicker part. When we place this part down below, we want the thin side to be on the side of the gearbox, which gives it just enough clearance to fit in nicely. The last step of the mechanical assembly is to secure the entire kit with four screws. To complete the power drive kit assembly, we install the other gearbox, securing it with four screws on the inside, and then we also slide in the motor and secure it with four screws as well. Lastly, we insert this small steel plate with spacers to ensure the shaft stays in place. Now the Shreddy 5 mechanical and power drive kit are both fully assembled, so we're ready to move on to the electronics kit. To do this, we simply need to follow the instructions on the side of the motors. Once you connect the motor, the blades begin to rotate. Every now and then, when this mechanism gets jammed, we do need to rotate it in reverse in order to clean the blades. To do that, we need a toggle switch. Once the toggle switch is installed, you can see that the system spins forward, and when you rotate the switch and reboot the motors, they start spinning in reverse. Alright, so we have a slightly slower motor, which is all done. It can reverse to unjam, and it can go forward to shred. We also have a slightly faster set of rotating blades, which is the set of blades where all the material is going to get stuck onto. As you recall from the test, most of the shredded material got stuck to the left side. In our Shreddy 4 design, we implemented a cleaner kit, which worked well, 
but this time around in Shreddy 5, we are implementing a superior electronically controlled cleaning mechanism using this custom board. It's an Arduino controlled relay board which is going to control the on off and switching which we previously showed, but for this motor to make it automated. Now I've already gone ahead and installed this on the motor, so let me show you that. This here is a plugged in version of what I just showed you and it's super easy to install. Each wire on the motor corresponds to the wiring diagram that is provided in the kit. Lastly, just plug in 12 volts into here. Polarity does matter, so go positive first on the left and then negative on the right as per the provided diagram. Once powered up, this will now go through the correct sequence of switching wires, turning the motor on and then off to reverse its direction. Now you can go directly into the Arduino in order to change the time the blades spin forward and the duration of the backwards rotation. Now that the control is on and working, if we apply power to the motor, you can see that it rotates in the correct direction and it automatically rotates reverse to clean itself. When we connect both motors to different outlets, we now get a powerful shredder with automated cleaning functions that we can use to recycle. It's that simple. If you're interested in Shreddy, you can buy a kit at actionbox.ca. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.